All right, guys, here we're playing Riffin top lane, but this time we're going to be playing with one of my old favorite setups, um, which is Riffin with Grass Page, but some, some like, unique touch to it, right? What we have is Grasp, Shield Bash, Bone Plate, and then we take on Flinching. Then we also go Magical and Cosmic Insight, and we're going to combine that along with the TP. So we can have the lowest cooldown possible. Now we're currently facing off the Camille matchup, which is a more of a skill matchup. It's going to be a lot of joy. So of the few matchups, if you play well, you don't really lose it. Um, but you've got to play it flawlessly. A couple mix mistakes could make you like lose the laning phase, so you got to be prepared. Now we're just going to start off playing a save lane. I'm going to allow Camille to do whatever she likes. She took the pressure level 1, so... We're going to be chilling for a bit. And then like once we reach level 2 and specifically level 3, that's where um, trading begins. So a couple things you need to know. Um, once you reach level 2 and 3, all you have to do is rely on short trading Camille over and over again. And each time that she's going to press W, you either want to Q in or Q out so that, she, so that it doesn't actually land. That's going to be the uh, the trick. It's going to hold the wave like this. Got to remember, guys, this Camille is playing with Ignite and TP, which means that she doesn't have Flash. Um, but she is a lot more aggressive because she has the Ignite. We don't have Ignite, we have TP. So we got to remember this, guys. It's broken the grasp. The idea about Grasp is that you basically like proc it over and over again consistently and that's going to give you a really really strong laning phase. And then you also have like Bone Play, you got the Unflinching. Wait. She's going to jump in. I'm going to see if I can bait. Okay, it looks like she doesn't bait. But yeah, we got like Bone Play, we got the Unflinching which also helps with the uh, with the lane as well. I'll take the push right here. I think I might also consider like resetting and then coming back with a long sword. Let's grab this one. And now we TP back. I'm not going to walk back because the wave is like uh, pushing into Camille. Um, if we would walk back, we would actually lose like a lot of XP along the way. Which is pretty terrible. Ooh, we got the cannon. Nice. And now we just maintain. We're going to slow push the wave. As much as possible. Of course, we're also going to place a ward down. Because Maokai is their jungle. He's currently missing out. I want to get the CS, dude. Hmm. Actually, didn't land that one. Not bad from Camille, because she actually went for the trade on their tower. That was nicely played. But I actually got a good trade off as well. So it's certainly not that bad. She's like spamming W a lot. Ooh, save today, dude. I think we could pro. Oh, never mind. Force. Got him. I will have to reset now because uh, Camille has TP. So I'm forced to go back. She will TP right now and then come back pretty strong. Go Warhammer. Nice. Now you walk back. Yeah, to be honest, like this is where the real fun is going to begin because now we go Warhammer, we can trade her a lot more now. And we also got level six. First time in my life that I see a Maokai jungle popping off getting three kills. That's actually pretty interesting. I have like no idea what I'm seeing actually. <laughs> 
All these times I've seen Maokai jungle, I've never seen a Maokai actually popping off. That's uh, pretty interesting to me. So now we just wait for Camille to like um, use E. If we can successfully make her use E, it becomes pretty easy for me. So we wait, kind of chilling, go for a trade up here. Make sure you always sidestep her W. Also staying out of the, the Q. Got him. And now we just hard push. And there we go. We're going to get a plate. The universe waits for absolution. Just going to get her like one plate and then we back out after. There we go. Now we go back. We're going to go for a Kindle gem. We're going to buy a uh, Contra Ward. Usually, I'm um, most of the mains, they go for pickaxe in a good game like this. But for me, I'm just going to go Kindle gem. It's more consistent. I like that more. Wave's gonna get My pushed into me. We're gonna use the that. Demon seeks to break you. Start off with a third Q trait. I think she probably saw me. Or she didn't. Uh, say it's worth. Hmm. I can outplay her. Yeah, I got her. It was a little bit risky, as you could notice, because I tried like fast queuing her when she still had the uh, the combo, and I was also like fast queuing in the middle of the wave. That's why it actually got so close. It's kind of my mistake. I thought like I was going to kill her faster, um, but she survived for a bit too long, like when I was standing in the middle of that wave. It's a bit risky. Go back. Boom. Okay, good. Hey, thank you for the sub, man. Thank you for the sub and supporting me. Awesome. Let's go for pickaxe. The dawn is coming. All right, let's walk our way back. Looks like he's currently like keeping the wave in the center, which is smart. Uh, Camille doesn't really have like much wave clear in the game. Um, at least before Tiamat, so he doesn't really have the ability to hard push. Ooh, nice. Perfect. Really good. Let's get some more plates. Nice. Let's take the wave up here. I believe that her TP is back. I believe. Oh, kidding. Yeah, I'm not going to mess too much with the Maokai. This Maokai is like 3, you know. <laughs> He's already got a Frostfire. Or trinket. Let's go for long sword, red trinket, and now we're gonna be walking our way back. So she got a sheen and a warhammer right now. So she's going for define build. I really like grasp riffing guys. It's really nice. It makes laning face like. Um, in terms of short trades, you, you're actually going to do a lot better. 
I could Gorchinka right now, so he doesn't win. Gotcha, buddy. <laughs> Looks like I'm getting ganked. Good luck, Maokai. Tower. Awesome. I'm going to take the whole uh, tower this time. Nice. Let's go up here. And we take this. Let me take this camp up here. Maokai is chilling bot lane. Maybe we can kill Camille again. Yeah, I got you. It's uh it's over for Camille. Like we are legit taking over the entire game right now. <clears throat> nice, we go back top. Dragged away. I think I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna go for uh I think I'm going to go for a ghost later right now. We fight as one. Keeping like 30 seconds. By the way, keep in mind guys, if you're playing Riffin with grass build, um, you're not, you don't necessarily have to go like tank Riffin after going Gorchinker, like as in like going black lever, death sense and stuff. Um, instead, uh, you can just go for Ghost Blade uh, even more. Edge of the Night, stuff like that. You're, you don't have to go like tank mode. Is what I'm trying to say. You can even go Hydra if you like. Oh, really? Maokai to carry of the team, man. <laughs> I could TP in four, uh, 30 seconds. Mm. Are we gonna lose straight now? Zyra is like stuck in mid. They have no Maokai ultimate anymore. Man, Samurai damage is so broken. Uh, I'll be the... I'll do the cleanup. <laughs> Zach is alive too. Unbelievable. I run this way. I wish I made that corner jump. We'll get this one here. <laughs> I guess the uh, the Herald saved it for me because the, uh, the, the Herald canceled the Camille jump. <laughs> Too bad for him, man. Take this one. And we go back mid lane. Oh, we could kill her instantly. We don't need uh we don't need my ultimate to kill Zyra, we can just 
legitimately just flash up on her. Darkness fades away. Let's grab this one. I will expose its weakness. I don't think she'll try to steal it. Oh, she actually does. Bring them to me. Drive them to the light. Got you. Or now I got you. We go back, Cyrus moving top lane, so we're going to reset. Now we're going to go for Ghost Blade, and then afterwards we will go for Edge of the Night. Or we could go for Grudge. I'll go for Grudge. Seven on the way. Got my TP in like five seconds. Hmm. Wait, he's actually going. <laughs> he's actually going ball lane. Wait, he walked back. Huh? I'm trying to bait the Zyra into walking up. Okay, got it. <laughs> this guy could like permanently CC forever. <laughs> hey, what do you guys think about my score, by the way? Quick question, what do you think about the state of top lane right now? Some say it's the weakest role because it's of his impact. I don't know who's saying that, dude. I don't know, like, you're not the first one who came down to my, you know, to me to ask me, like, the current state and, and how bad it is. I don't know where people are getting that information from. Like, top lane is looking really good at the moment, man. I don't know, like, where people get that from. I guess it's just people saying, like, a bunch of things that make no sense. But top lane is looking good right now. I wouldn't say it's the best role. Certainly not, like, jungle, right? But, um jungle mid lane but um i would definitely place top lane in a good state right now probably the third best pick of all roles wait you didn't have w Walk up here. Random Maokai. This guy finally died, by the way. Let's walk up here. Get some more cams. We're just kind of rotating over and over, guys. It's not, not nothing special. Just keep on rotating. Go stop watch. Um, there's literally a dragon being taken, and actually, we're the only one here. Feels bad, man. I think 
can fight this. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I um you know what my plan was guys? I was gonna jump up to um to this guy. Or actually I was gonna jump up to Zyra, kill her, stopwatch, then jump then run away. But in the middle of my stopwatch I thought like okay I'm just gonna see if I can all in. Not even close by the way. Oh man, so unfortunate. Dude, Drake is being taken for free. Also, the the, the fight was my bad. We went for like a, a three a three against five. To be honest, best scenario, ADC should just, just go mid lane, start up a team fight, just win it at this point. I miss my ultimate because I got knocked back. I got knocked back by Maokai, so I missed my ult, and then I got kicked backwards by Jace. Wow. This game really shouldn't be that hard, guys, to be honest. But my team is behind. We're also not grouped all the time. Alright, let's go. Let's go back to the sidelines. Got TP up. That's a Camille. See you later, Camille. Um, they're coming bot lane. Dude, I want to have pressure so bad. Literally, we could just push side lanes and then get away with it. I'm actually not not even kidding. My team just needs to group at mid lane is four, and that's it. But uh, I don't see it happening I will not ever. Be By catching Jace, didn't work. Again, like I thought, I jump over this wall, I'm gonna kill Jace first, but these guys were grouped up here. I think it's better if we just stop like getting catches or starting stuff and just wait for people to make uh, to make the move. Oof, he's jumping into two people. Ooh, they could clean it up. Oh, 
Hmm. Wow. Okay, yeah. I don't know, dude. Jace has so, so much damage. <laughs> this Maokai is also just the perfect pick. I wanted to flash on Zyra and then just escape after. The you know the 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 worst thing is like Jace is actually two levels ahead of me. I'm level 15, Jace is level 17. And they've also been farming free dragons. If you don't play Riffin in top lane, who would you who would your secondary champion be? Um, I would probably play either Camille, Kale, or uh, Trinomir, or Yasuo. Usually, I go for Camille's secondary pick. Because it's... You know, playstyle-wise, it's pretty close, right? Camille has been my secondary main for a lot of time. Like, years. So the yeah. Follow and win. Oh well, I, I I know what's gonna happen. I'm I'm dead. Yeah, he's got too much damage. Not even outplayable. There there was a um I, I was gonna turn on him and then try and see if I can kill him, but there was also a Maokai who was standing right right behind him. Yeah, feels bad, man. One in ten, Camille wins the game. Unfortunately, I, I do have to say, though, there are a few moments in the game where um, I could have played it differently, but if that would have made the difference, I don't really know. It's been going, like, downhill since we lost the, the, the Inferno. Yeah, the game is done. Unfortunately. Five seconds for Zach. Nah, this game is over. Yeah, nothing I can change. But, um... Yep, yeah, nothing to do. Unfortunate again. But, uh, either way, this is uh, Riffin Top with the Grass Build. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.